Hey guys, Cell here, and welcome back to some Ark Knights. I finally have the episode, first episode up. Still don't know what the hell I'm doing. I have watched a lot of uh, videos of Ark Knights, mainly from one person whose name is currently escaping me. I've literally have seen a lot of his videos already. Crap. He's, oh, uh, Tectone. Tectone. I believe, yeah. I've watched his videos on Arknight. Very useful stuff. Like how with Recruit, I have a site now that I can go to and see what and put in the tags I have and see which tag would be the best one for a certain unit. I could potentially get a six star, a five star, or a four star with certain tags that I have. I can't tell if since they're lit up if these tags are dropped or the other ones are dropped and I'm getting guard and DPS tags on these timers. I have no clue. I don't think I have anything that can speed anything up either. So, either way. I can't do my base. I need to clear 0 to 11 to be able to do that. So, let's just go with the main storyline. TR2. Learn about operators, range, and direction. Okay. Uh... The roster for the separation cannot be changed. Sure. Yes. Jessica, you've probably noticed that we need to des designate a direction when deploying an operator. First, take a look at how rangers attack the enemy. Okay. Seems simple enough. Did you see that, Jessica? Rangers cannot attack enemies behind him, as they are outside his range. Tap Rangers to check his information. The orange area Rangers attack range, which is determined by the direction assigned to him when deployed. Unless an operator has retreated or fallen, his direction and attack range cannot be changed as long as he is deployed. Make sure you take this into consideration before deploying an operator. Alright, because I'm like in my mind, I could just change him, right? No, I can't. Okay, good to know. At this stage, rangers cannot attack the originium slugs crossing behind him. But don't worry, we can deploy other operators to defend that area. Tap to go back to the battlefield. Deploy sniper operator An Anakul to this location. Set this direction to up by dragging upward. An upward will only be deployed to battle after you have specified the direction. Okay. Back to two times. Fairly interesting, but I can. I, can we get to the story? You know, I feel like I'm far behind. I mean, it's been eight days since the game came out, so it's like, yeah, I'm far behind. In a way. ラテラの出身、射撃担当のアドナキエルです。銃を扱う資格はまだ取れてませんが、クロスボウの腕なら先輩たちにも負けませんよ。オッケー。ドクターの指示のおかげです。なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、な
しません。各自、対処につけ。ちょっと待ってたわ。What are these? Robots? What? I, I just put down tentacles, really? That's neat. Alright, meet your right all. I want you to go right there. You have the longest range. Currently, at least. Put our healer down. And there we go. The real unit of the unnamed enemy drone does not attack. Oh, go to the time, please. Nothing can get past our tentacles. But apparently, our healer doesn't heal the tentacles. Good to know. Yeah, let me write down? Let me draw out? I don't know. Alright, so we got experience, money, regular drops, extra drops. Not bad. We got some more of those things for our first finish of a mission. T Tutorial 3. Learn how to take on aerial units with sniper operators. Start. I don't really see anyone here that's new, so... We probably might get an extra copy of someone? Namely, Jessica, maybe? That way... Then attack that way. Yeah. You okay. Oh, oh, and two times speed. Jessica, you will often encounter aerial targets. Which can only be damaged by operators with ranged attacks. Huh, I'm good at that. My weapons are long range as well. Correct. Now deploy the range operator you have available. Jessica, you can join Doctor's team after this training session. You'll need to have more actual combat experience. And there we go. I already have Jessica. So this will give us an upgrade to her, which will then, I think, lower the deployment cost? I'm still not entirely sure. What? Really? Yes. You can join us on out on the field once you finish all the rest of these enemies. Man, look at all the deployment costs going up. Can't deploy anyone else. So that's perfectly fine. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Four stars. Jessica. I just figured I'd let her talk again. But yeah, I see one duplicate. Yeah, yes, by yourself. Yeah, you did. Totally. Zero four. More enemy drones have entered the battlefield. Please make sure your sniper operators are in a position to deal with them. So, intelligence. We have no intelligence of the enemies here. This is what the map layout looks like. And let's go. Snipers have a long range and can deal with m most air and ground units alike. They are the backbone of your squad. Jessica may not have a lot of combat experience, but she has a sniper who is full of potential. Press this button to head to the quick formation page. 
Okay. Doctor, please select at least one sniper to add to your squad here. I mean, I already have Jessica, so it's like... Yeah, you don't really need to do anything? Yeah. And before I do that... How did I... It was under operator. Thank you for lighting up the way for me. Jessica, let's give your potential up to two. So your deployment to cost goes from minus six to minus four? Wait, deployment. Oh, wait, no. VP cost minus one. Okay. Well, her potential has been increased either way. Now we go to combat. Zero four. Let's do this. Start the mission. Ace. Looks like you all made it out alive. This isn't the rendezvous point. Why are you here alone? They're the ones who escaped from the central area. Don't let them get away. Tch. They just keep coming after us. Team E2, prepare to intercept. Doberman. You don't get overzealous. Retreating is our top priority. Amiya, Dr. Cell, quick. It's not safe here either. That's right. We still have to press on to the next rendezvous point. Where's your team? Where are you, are you rats hiding? Smoke them out. Here they come again. Dr. Cell, please give us your orders. Just like the good old days. Amaze. Actually, something unexpected has happened. Doctor is suffering from amnesia. I see. I'm sorry, but compared to before, a lot has changed. Is that so? You don't need to apologize to me. Have the doctor's command and capabilities suffered as a result of the amnesia? As sharp as before. Doctor's decision making is still absolutely reliable. I can promise you this. Very well then. Of all the doctor's orders then, what has been lost can be found again. Right now, there's a more imminent problem on our hands. They're over here. Hurry, let's get them. Are you done chatting yet? I'm going to go crack some skulls. Dr. Cell, please give us your orders. Go, release your inner beast, and let them feel your fangs. Dr. Ace, the enemy is right in front of us. Move out immediately, got it. Seize the opportunity to disrupt the enemy's plans. Understood. Team E3, back up Doberman. An ambush. Team E3 has been moving undercover this whole time, I see. They've been waiting for us to pin to the enemy. When communications are jammed, our team should operate near the rendezvous point. That way, even if something happens to me or the scout, the broader operation can still be carried out. This is my decision making. In other words, Ace, you left your team back at the rendezvous point and came here alone. After all, neutralizing threats around the rendezvous point is our top objective. Of course, prioritizing checking on your status is a big risk. There's no way I could imp impale the entire team. The whole reason teams exist is to increase tactical efficiency, not the other way around. Huh, let's continue our discussion after we've taken care of our reunion. Of reunion. Amiya, you're up. Understood. I'll back you up with my arts. Finally. Dr. Cell, please command Rhodes Island. Yes, sir. Still think that you all rely too much on me, but sure. More drones are approaching. We are cer quite certain they're being controlled by enemy casters. Seems they were seized from external bog armory and modified afterwards. The fact that there are so many drones being deployed means that this is no ordinary riot. They came prepared for members to deploy sniper operators to deal with the drones. Uh-huh. Let's put gravel right there. What's her ability do again? Plus 200% defense continuously. She can only block one enemy. Alright. Let's put you right there. 
probably a mistake, but it's fine. So we can do two robots. Touch you there so you can heal our mainline units in this vicinity. Angelica. I want you to go right there and attack that way. Come on, Moron. I love Angelica slow. Here come the drones. Meteorite all. And let's put Amiya right there. Why not? And now we just literally wait till the enemies come out and get destroyed. There goes the drone, there goes whatever those things are on the ground. Slugs, I think they were called. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. <laughs> yes, it hasn't been stained red yet. You'll get there eventually. We will always be on a public eye no matter how much experience we have. Reunion is an organization solely made up of the infected. As a matter of fact, we don't know more about the infected than they do. As a commander, your job is to make sure the operators are always in their best condition. Okay, doctor. This is the operator management page. You can manage and train the operators here. Select an operator and play previous records for them to make sure they understand what is required of them. You don't need to do this because you're better off letting others handle the weapons, however. It's my job is to assist your commandership. I must inform you that it would be prudent to study all these records. Tap to view more information on the operator. Here you can play combat records for your operators to increase their level in their stats. After reaching a certain level, operators can be promoted to learn new talents and skills. Give them their corresponding tokens to increase their potential base stats and talent effects. Here you can view more information on the operator and increase their skill levels. This shows the trust between you and the operator. Higher trust will improve their morale and increase their performance on the battlefield. To increase the odds of winning the next battle, you should play combat records for your operators right away. Okay. What if I don't want to level on me up, though? What if I instead want to level up... Hmm... I haven't actually put Savage out in the battlefield at all yet. Deep co oh! Oh! Deep Color is the one who can summon those units! That's why they can't be healed, because they're a summon. Okay. I, I understand now. I fully understand now. And I also saw Fang has an outfit that she can get, apparently. Meteorite all. Doberman. Hmm. You know, I don't really know who I should level up. I feel like a five star would be able to do more out in the field. Got though. Let's level Fang up. Uh. Okay, that gets you to level eight. You are very welcome. Alright. Things level 8. Let's go with Meteorito. Let's level you up. Also to level 8. We also gotta pay close attention to our cash. Angelina, I don't think leveling up every single one of our higher 
ranked units would be the best idea ever. So I'm gonna stop with these two in terms of leveling up and just level up to rest lower, lower levels. Done, but oh, nah. Yep. Totally know what you just said. <laughs> Let's do our best, I'm assuming. Hibiscus. Gravel. Deep color. Let's level you up. Alright. That's all you say. Good to know. Let's go with gravel. Sil significantly reduced redeployment time trait. Nice. You are now also level 8. I am significantly running out of experience. Alright. We now have five units at level eight. Let's level up to a healer as well. There we go. And now we have six units to level eight. There we go. That's all we can do in terms of leveling up. I'll take the cash. I'll take those drill battle records. I'll clip. I'll claim all of those. So actually, now we have more battle records. But I think we're good with our level for now. Let's keep it going. Ooh, tutorial four, and we get Fang. So we get to upgrade her. I am all for that, especially since we just got out of late. Learn how to use Vanguard operators and the importance of blocking. Let's do this, Fang Bloom. Huh. A fast move. Even operators from the same class may have different capabilities. As a vanguard, Plume has a low deployment cost as well as balanced attack and defense. However, she can only block one enemy unit. Alright, I was about to say, I'm not entirely sure if Plume's a guy or a girl because someone else I watched play the game. Call Plume a guy. I mean, she kind of looks like a girl. Could be a guy, I don't know, but now I know she's a, a she. Good to know, Plume. Good to know. At the same time, Bloom can recover additional costs when defeating an enemy, making her a good choice for early game. Trying to deploy Plume to stop the enemy's initial rush. Right. Two times. Never mind. More enemy troops are coming, but Bloom alone cannot block all of them. Fortunately, Vanguard Fang has arrived. As a Vanguard, Fang also has a very low deployment cost, but unlike Plume, Fang has lower attack and higher defense. She can also block two enemies at the same time. On top of that, Fang's ability can also provide lo lots of cost periodically, which will be ideal for subsequent deployment of other operators. Please deploy Fang immediately to defend against the incoming enemies. Go, go, Gadget! Bang! You're at level 8, so you do a lot of damage. Way more than Plume does, currently. And that's basically how we do it. Arigato! Mission accomplished. And here's Bang. So when do you get your outfit? I need to know. Yep, this is planned. Uh, 
let's go back. Before it even tells me to. Operator. Bang. Let's do your potential. Increase it. Potential has now been improved. Thank you, Fang. Let's go to combat. Evil time. Okay, so we get plume for doing this. Good to know. Fang guns have lower deployment costs and well-balanced offensive and defensive capabilities, making them excellent choices for the early stages of battle. Fang can provide deployment points for your squad. It's well suited to leading the battle. Press the button and head to the quick formation page. Doctor, please select at least one vanguard to add to your squad here. I mean, we already have Bang as a vanguard. And we also have Yato. Let's go. Are those wild animals? No, they're clearly being controlled. The castes of Reunion have controlled so many Originium, Slugs, and Drones, they are using sheer numbers to overwhelm us. High-speed enemies use units incoming, it is recommended to deploy Vanguard operators first. Aha. Uh -huh. Eh. Fine for now. that I need to first see where the other enemies are going to come from besides of course the drones being right there meet your right though Gotta love meteorites, massive damage. Increase the speed. You're not getting past us. Oh, wait, um. Hibiscus. Heal. There we go. Now you're truly not getting past us. We have 67, 69, 71 deployment points. Holy crap. And now we have Plume. Thank you very much, Plume. Welcome home. That's a decent amount of cash, plume, some extra drops, very nice. Number six. The path at the bottom of the battlefield has been opened. Please deploy multiple vanguard operators to stop the hounds. I mean, I don't think I have multiple vanguards, but sure. I technically have Yato. So I guess for the time being, I will level up Yato. After we. Wait, what? It lit up. Or is it only lighting up because we just got Plume? Yeah, newly hired operator, that's why. Actually, wasn't it under operator that we can do this? Yeah, it is. Yato. Let's level you up, shall we? Also to level eight. And that's all you say. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know you're very talkative. Savage. Bloom isn't in the party. 
Doberman is in the party. Yeah, let's level Doberman up. Why do I have most of our units at level 8? Why not? Alright. That is almost everyone now that we can level up, but we'll keep the other ones at level 1. Actually, because Jessica tries so hard. Let's get her to level 8. You can do it. I believe in you, Jessica. I full heartedly believe in you. That you will help us in our time to come. Okay. Path of Bomb to Battlefield has been opened. Deploy Vanguards. They're still organized. Wait, when do you when do you actually talk? Doctor, the path in the bottom of the map is now open. Please deploy one vanguard operator at the top and bottom pants to hold off enemy hounds. Okay. Bang, you can go up top. You can go right there. Jessica, you can help this side with the auto. Colors, you can help Fang on this side. And two times speed. Hibiscus, I want you to heal. Ah, oh, crud. Cancel. Hibiscus. That way. Thing needs more help. Amiya. Help me out though. And put uh summoning down there. And another summoning. Protect the auto at all costs. And victory. There we go. Uh, uh, those sick bastards. I can't believe that they, they, those beasts, were they reunions doing? Reunion enslaved infected beast to use his troops? No, it's not that simple. I can feel it. They are no mere beasts. In fact, they're more like us. Instructor Doberman. Boss, what should we do? Give them a m merciful end. Boss. Doberman, the battle is over. We also had to face off against reunion forces. The catastrophe is already looming over us. It's likely to break at any moment. Even Chernobog will re be reduced to rubble under its direct impact. Reunion is taking advantage of this to sow even more chaos. Doberman, we're out of time. We might be able to outmaneuver Reunion to stay concealed from Ursus, but we're powerless in the face of a catastrophe. That's enough, let's go. No matter how reckless Reunion's plans are, the most important thing for us is everyone's safety. That's right. Reunion's leaders may see this event as a sign, or even as a means. But for me, it signifies that we will be in great danger from now on. It's using a time like this to incite chaos. Reunion is either insane or just evil. Perhaps a bit of both. Perhaps so. You talking about you didn't even join the battle? Well, I mean, I didn't summon you, so uh, yeah. Each operator at Rhodes Island has unique skills. Upgrading their skills is as, impo as important as increasing their levels. 
Doctor. You should already know how to enter the operator's page. As well as how to view operator information. Tap to view more information on the operator. Enter the skills page from here. All the operators start at the same skill level. Tap here to upgrade the skill. Oh, oh, okay. But I'm not using Amiya. If anything, I would want to upgrade... What's Fang's ability? Instantly gain six deployment points. I mean... What actually is, is the best one? I mean, I like Fang and all, but... Who has the best skill? Meteorite AOE experience for next attack, dealing damage. 135 to 140. So that costs four. I'm not entirely sure about like who I should keep and whatnot. So for now. Yeah. I really don't know. I mean, it's telling me I can do it, but it, I don't necessarily have to do it right now, right? It's telling me I can do it, not that I have to do it. Watch it screw me. Learn how to take on high defense units with caster operators, and that's why it's telling me to upgrade Amiya. Because she is, in fact, a caster. Do we have any caster units? Besides, you know, getting dirty for doing this? Speaking of which, Instructor Doberman, why didn't you choose me? Jessica, you worked at Black Steel, a private security consulting company, didn't you? I assume you still remember what you learned there. Yes, I do. But you definitely don't seem prepared anyway. You still need to refer to combat knowledge you learned at Black Steel. Deploy Vanguard Fang to hold off the first wave of enemies. Okay. <laughs> Kind of stupid of me to do that, the pointer that way, but it's fine. I see. This enemy is wearing heavy armor and has high defense, so physical attacks can't deal much to her. Are you telling me you weren't even aware of that? No, I. I just don't know the enemy's actual attributes. When I said that Black Steel is a mercenary, I was conducting weapon tests most of the time. Alright then, tell us some of the options that Black Steel taught you when facing such a situation. Okay, hmm. A common solution is to use arts and attacks to penetrate the enemy's armor. Good, you are correct. Now try, tr now try it out. A caster operator, Doreen, is ready. You may deploy her at any time. Ready, go! Use your magic! Hibiscus, kill Fang. And then, Cruz. Go there. And that is our deployment for this time. Thank you, Fang. Dirin, welcome home. Hi. Hi. What do you mean by Biggie Big Doctor? Do I want to know, Dernine? Do I want to know? Thank you, Bang, for the report. Zero seven. Enemy units equipped with shields have high physical defense. Please deploy caster operators to defeat them. Do I have casters? You might have noticed already, but the support system at Rhodes Islands allows you to request external aid before a battle begins. Tap here on the squad page to request external aid. If you have already signed contracts with the other organizations, this is where you can see what kind of help 
they might be able to offer. Depending on how powerful we are in our relationships with these organizations, that, that help they can provide will also be different. They will not support all of our operations, but using them wisely will take the stress off of you a little bit. Please connect with other organizations as much as you can to expand the help available to us. Uh huh. Other organizations, basically other players. Doctor, casters like me ex excel at suppressing enemies with high defense. Provide the primary source of firepower for our squads. Doctor, please make sure you include at least one caster in your squad. I mean, I have you as a caster. I have Kitano as a caster. Who is only level one? Eh, we're fine, right? I mean, what does Deep Color and Angelina count as? Because they still cast spells, right? It's getting darker and darker. It's as if those clouds are pressing into the skyline. The air still feels clear, but the dark clouds aren't moving. It feels like all the stress is being compressed into a single point. And I forgot to level you up, didn't I? Even the wind has stopped. No doubt about it, a catastrophe is about to fall this city. By the looks of things, Chinobug has been completely paralyzed by Reunion's attacks. But when it comes to disabling a mobile city, that preparation must have been made several weeks in advance. Could Reunion have taken some other action since then? That's a bit unrealistic. Based upon what we've seen, Reunion currently doesn't show the kind of discipline required to stage a covert takeover. Most Reunion members are still wandering the streets, taking revenge on Chernobogians. It's all just senseless fighting, killing an arson. When the catastrophe falls, even the impregnable Chernobog will be shattered and turn into a originium filled ruins. If fame or fortune is what they're after, Reunion is doomed to failure. Even the arson's chain of command is shambles. I still doubt that Reunion is able to face a military. Why has the Nurses military stayed to counterattack yet? From my experience, when a riot breaks out, the military usually manages to qu quash it immediately. But we did just witness the Nurses guards getting overpowered. That mass reunion leader might have been a cut above the rest, but there's no way she could have single handedly destroyed the entire city. Unless. Unless what? I've fought in many battles before. I've seen many people who acted in the same way as that Reunion leader. To them, soldiers are nothing more than pawns to be tossed away as soon as they've served their purpose. Soldiers could be used efficiently when needed and then left to their own devices when not needed. Because the cost of training and maintenance is too high. So there's no standing army. Right, most of the time they simply have to be fed with some hatred or fear. All that's needed to whip them into a frenzy is a little push. And the way that reunion leader acted was in, in the indication for the, how the organization is run. Ugh. Any infected could join reunion s simply by donning a uniform and putting on a badge. Correct. So that explains your endless numbers. There are too many op oppressed infected desperately trying to cut out, cry out. No matter how tenuous the solutions that reunion offers, there might be. As long as they see a light at the end of the tunnel, they will gladly lay their lives down to pursue it. Even if it means jumping into a sea of hellfire. Uh. Dr. Sal. They are not like us. And if I don't fully trust you, I, I at least trust your abilities. And completely unlike you. That kind of leader is no commander. Those who would trample enemies and come at alive are rather minions. Perhaps not even minions to reunion. Those thugs must, may have been nothing more than pawns. This is not a leader, but a tyrant. No matter who our enemies are, we will complete our mission. Someone once taught me and my teammates. If facing a pawn, capture it. If facing a fortress, topple it. If facing the crown, overthrow it. Ace, wait a minute. Dr. Cell, enemy light armored troops are stationed in front of us. Have we been found? Not yet. However, we won't be able to avoid them. The route we're on is the shortest one. If we take a detour, we'll lose time we don't have. We need for... For a further discussion, then, thugs of pawns, all that matters is that we clear them out of the way. Okay. Zentai. So the enemies are coming from both ways, and we are literally in the middle. 
Knocked out the shield bearing enemy units have high physical defense and will not take much damage from normal attacks. It's recommended to deploy caster operators against them. Okay. Fang, you go there. Deep color, you can go there. Yato, go there. Mia. Angelica. You go there. Yeah, see, Angelica does a lot of damage to them. Perfectly fine. Hibiscus. Go there. Put Doberman in front of Yato. Gotta love Angelica in that freaking stun. Well, slow, not stun. Mission accomplished. Not bad. Based on our planned route, we should be approaching the central town of South Chernobog. We'll arrive at the rendezvous point after crossing this park. Assuming no contingencies, Neil and Team E4 should be awaiting for us there. But, if Neil was attacked, what would we do then? What if they wanted to alert us but couldn't do to communications being jammed? How should we deal with that? We will go assess the situation. Oh. Don't start speculating before things, seeing things with your own eyes. There's no point of letting paranoia get the better of you. I see. Losing our communications has caused anxiety to spread through the ranks much faster than I imagined. Especially with this looming catastrophe. We have to pick up our pace. Alright. Will do. Oh, not the fog again. Now what's with this haze? Can it be? Watch out! Kill them. Incoming enemy fire. It's a trap. This is bad. Reunion forces have showed, showed up behind us. Where's our scout? They got separated from us. Rhodes Island. I've caught you. Kill them all. This time I'll grind your bones to dust. Doberman. Sniper, stop their advance. Defenders, hold the line. Get ready to push forward. Ace, prepare to... Time out. Time out. I only just finished purging the Southeast Fortress, but I rushed over here as soon as I heard the news. These are my hunting grounds, Crown Slayer. When did you come here for? Isn't it about time you handed them over to me? Oh boy. Hey, we're level 2 now, alright. Sanity restored. Not like we needed any sanity to begin with. Thank you very much. Tutorial 6. We will get a new unit, I believe. Fell floor. I don't know. Either way, learn about synergy between defender operators and AoE casters. Yeah, we get this caster right here. Alright. We often have to face swarms of enemies. This time we will learn how to deal with a large number of enemy troops. Alright. Here they all come. As you can see, Operator Jodin cannot el eliminate so many enemies within a short time. A common strategy is to deploy a Defender Operator together with an AoE Caster Operator. 
The Panda Operators' higher cost have brought them higher defense and HP. They can also block en more enemies. For example, Defender Beagle can block three enemies at the same time. Like 12 path, can some cast operators can also have AoE attack. They can quickly eliminate the enemy units with low HP. Uh, I know, well, that strategy is operators with AoE attack together with defenders. We can gather multiple enemies in the area. Correct, Jessica. Think carefully, then deploy them. Okay. And that is GG. They can't get past Beagle. I thought Beagle could only block three enemies, though. And yeah, she's blocking a lot more than three. Okay, then. ロードセンを開業を受け入れていただき心より感謝いたします。これからは一人の術師としてドクター殿のために全力を尽くします。名乗れるほどの名前は持ち合わせておりませんので、ご不便であれば私のことをトゥエルブエフとお呼びください。この
If people like you didn't exist, I wouldn't have to con constantly be honing my skin salts. I mean, what's going on? Doberman, all of our escape routes have been blocked by these troops. How can that be? How did he manage to do that in just a few minutes? This simply won't do. Even though I gave you my sincere invitation, but all you can think of is running away. Ch Actually, I'll let you leave my hunting ground safely as long as you win. Until then, my friends here will keep trying to kill you. It's your victory as long as you don't die. The rules are simple enough, right? Ace, we're already prepared to b break through. But we have to stave off their attacks first. Why are you doing this? The catastrophe is coming. If we don't leave Chernobyl, then everyone will. What are you talking about? The catastrophe makes it the best time to celebrate. You're sick. My esteemed guest, I'm honored to invite you to this game. Ugh. Kill, kill, kill. Kill them all. Amiya, watch out. Right, right. Actually, we know every exactly what you did in the central area. That masked person you rescued makes me very, very curious. Crown Slayer is so fixated on what you're going to do next. When are you going to- where are you going to go? But I'm different. What I care about is... What exactly are you? Where are you from? Yes, you, the one staring at me right now. You are somewhat different from us. What was the device in that facility that was able, able to preserve your life? I am so very curious. See, I'm not such a cold-blooded person. So how about it, my esteemed Rhodes Island guest? How about giving this person to me as a gift? It would be a shame to end the game early, but at least I'll leave the rest of you go. How about it? Doctor, get behind me. Yes, sir. Oh boy, this is a wide open area. Jeez. The situation isn't looking good, but still far from hopeless. Hmm, I know what I'm supposed to do. A lot of enemies are coming. I'd recommend deploying casters with area of effect AoE damage capabilities. Yes, you would recommend that, wouldn't you? Thing right there. Now the thing's up, we're getting more deployment. Mamiya. At least be the first two lines. Gato. Mina, what does he need to do? Hibiscus, I need you to heal Yato. Angelica. I want you to also go there. Jessica. Put summoning down to protect Yato. We we can no longer summon any more units. Okay. Two times. Mina, Mission accomplished. See, we didn't need no AoE casters like Cold Lava. Lava. So, you're a dude, right? I'm fine with getting new units, whether they're male or female, but I prefer just to use female. 
Auto deploy is now available. Okay. Neil. Many more enemy origineum slugs and shielded soldiers have arrived in battlefield. Use a combination of defender operators and air we cast the operators to suppress them. Well, crap. I only have one defender. Thank you, Amiya. I'm back. Noir Korn is the defender. The only defender I literally have in the main party is Beagle. I think she's in the party anyways. So let's level her up to 8. There we go. We got Beagle leveled up now. Missions. Collect more of these. Because why not? Gonna need them anyways. I'm getting any 1 3 so unit to level 10. And we get ORT training reward. Give it a main storyline. I'll get some of those. Come on, gimme. Thank you very much. So, there's a store, right? Clear 010 to unlock. And we need to do 11 for the base. Ah, crud. Okay. Eagle is not in our main party. Huh. Kitano. Swap out with Beagle, please. And there we go. Now everyone in our party is leveled up except for Amiya and Savage, which is fine. Guys, they just keep coming. There's still lots of enemies left. Don't let you go down. Okay. Yep. Be put Beagle right there. The Vanguard right there. Or whatever level is. I would forget. But Fang right there. The Jessica right there. Fern Fang can keep that up. Colors. You can go right there. Attack all sides. Man, gravel is kicking butt down there. I love it. Angelica. You can go down here next to gravel. Hibiscus, you can go there and heal everyone up on that side. I see the necessity now. 
Meteorite off. I like how that guy walked through is in in our zone but decided to go back to fight Beagle again. I mean hey. We only lost one health. But that still makes it to where we can't get a freaking three star, and that sucks. All because of terrible positioning. Mission accomplished. Uh, watch out. I'm fine. It's just a scratch, don't worry. Not good enough. At this rate, they're going to close in on us. I've already found a weak point in their line. But without reinforcements, it's taken all we can have to just hold them back. Please hold on a bit longer. Focus your fire on the ranged enemies. Our Kansas will take care of the vanguard. Good, good. This is how things should be. Next up, F3, E5. This bloody brat. Excellent. Now B4, B5. The enemy is now trying to flank us. Take two defenders and a sniper. Let's keep them busy. And next, H2, H6. There, they're rushing our defensive line. Pen guards, flush them out. That's right. Let me see how you struggle. Now, casters, let's C7. Capture their hook. Enemy casters have appeared. So far, they're hiding behind their defenders. It's too late. Take cover. <laughs> now be snuffed out, like flames before a storm. Is he really commanding his troops like that? How can he give such precise orders just by barking out chess moves? Some seem disorderly thugs have been turned into an army under his command. And this way, he's going to keep exploring the advantage he gets through his leadership. On the other hand, if we manage to suppress him, they'll fall into this array. Don't give them even the slightest opening. Damn it, we're running out of time. We can't allow ourselves to be stalled any longer. Is there some way to turn the tables? Anything. We're going to be doctors going to. Huh. What? Huh, what's going on? Why are people getting knocked into the air? What? The hell is that? A centaur? What? You guys should took your sweet time. I even had to relocate the civilians. Out of my way. Whoa. Let's hit him even harder. Don't give the enemies a chance to regroup. Miss Neil. I'm here. I'm glad you're still safe, Amiya. Let's move. They got an issue with deployed in this operation. Isn't this signal flare? What's your case? It seems like you've been having a rough time. You must be Dr. Cell, right? Radiant Knight Neil, at your service. Your chariot has arrived. So am I riding you back? It's so annoying that I got two stars. I mean... He isn't able to... I don't have... I... I guess I should have bought another tank. That's my bad. And Hibiscus should have been able to heal both tanks, I guess, I don't know. In addition to completing my mission, side missions and various daily missions are also important sources of income for Rhodes Island. Here are the other mission types. It's like the main mission, other missions can also be found on the missions page. Oh jeez. This part has all the starter missions. These missions are structured differently than the requests we normally get. There are a series of re rehabilitation procedures specifically designed for you. Of course, completing these missions will be worth your while, and you will be rewarded with supplies that are hard to come by through most other requests. I suggest you prioritize these missions so that you can recall the knowledge you previously mastered. Here are the, all the daily missions. Okay. Roger Island receives a lot of various requests. It commissions every day, and they will refresh every day. Therefore, please do your best to complete these missions daily. All the weekly missions can be found here. Weekly missions usually take longer to complete than daily missions, but you still have more time to complete them. Furthermore, you will receive greater rewards by completing them. 
Completing a time effectively and gradually, complete these weekly missions. Okay. I can claim you. And I can claim you. So... Top emergency sanity potion. 500 of these. Defeat a thousand enemies. Defeat a total of five enemy leaders in main story stages. Clear any main story stage 20 times. Buy any items from the credit store. My god, this is a lot of weekly missions. Daily missions claim. I shall claim all of these. Thank you very much. Okay. Pinboard missions. Upgrade any operator. I will take that. Complete any stages with the three stars. Thank you very much. Uh, complete all missions on the right to claim the reward of this phase. Headhunting. One permit. Okay. So use drill plan to complete any stage one time. Complete a one difficulty operation supplies. After all those, we can get a summoning thing. Campaign. Like these. And that is actually it. Hmm. Alright. Limited time mission going on. Clear 011 to unlock. Gee. Thank you. Tutorial. We get Beagle for this. Uh, a Nuckle and Kyora. Oh, hey, we get a four star tank. Uh, yes, please. I'll gladly level you up. After that disaster. <laughs> Unlike before, the enemy this time has very high damage and durability. An ordinary Vanguard operator cannot withstand it. You should deploy a defender operator with high defense to protect your position. On a side note, you will need to manually activate the skills of these operators once activated. The upgrades will become greatly enhanced within skill duration, so make sure to use the skills wisely when facing difficult situations. I'm trying to use these skills at the correct time. Yeah, I feel like I probably should have put out an Anikul next to our tank. That's fine. Yep. Build the mission. That's what happens when I have it on two times speed. Luckily, we don't lose any sanity anyways. But yeah, now I know why I shouldn't have it on two times speed. Now I know why. Because of that crap. Alright, come on. Skip. Dang, I'm so sorry. I don't want to see you go down. Retreat, please, retreat. Damn it. Okay. Take him out. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. See, I don't know why I failed the last time. Oh, wait, no, I got Beagle. Oh, crap. No. I saw, I saw the four star one, and I'm like, oh, cool, I get another tank. No. Why couldn't you have been the one I got? Uh, dang it. Yeah, I guess that'll make it too easy. Ooh! Another unit we get. Enemy junkmen have high HP and attack. Deploy defender operators to block them and deploy high damage operators to defeat them. Okay. So. I'd say we need two tanks. Ah, uh, that's, that's just how it's gonna be. I don't want to level up a guy, but I feel like I'm going to have to level up a guy. 
The wood. It's fine, whatever. You get to go to six. I ain't leveling you up all the way. Ranger no G Sanga it did a senjute. Which means I'm also gonna have to swap someone out of the main squad. I have never used Savage and I almost never use Amiya because she costs too much. But I want Savage to get loyalty up. So the one I don't really care about losing loyalty with all that much would be Gravel. Give it a Doberman instead. Play Stoberman with Nawad. And there we go. Combat. Sucks, but that's what we're gonna have to do. Let's go. What's with this woman? You there. The reunion forces worked well uh, like a well oiled machine when they took over the Chemo No Bog military strongholds. But your men act like deranged thugs. Mindless slaughter, bringing da burning down the city, hunting down innocents. This was all for your own sadistic pleasure, was it not? Someone had base enough to plot these senseless crimes at a time like this could not possibly have designed a plan to take down an entire city. The commander probably ordered you to cause chaos, but you succumbed to your perversion and tastelessness. Faust! I want her shot through the mouth. <clears throat> Neil! Their sniper is ridiculous. If Neil gets hit again, she won't be able to defend herself anymore. Neil, you need to retreat! I can't. He's too powerful. I can't afford to let him hit the Earth squads. Match intercept his attacks. She managed to block Faust Ballista with only a shield. Unbelievable. Impossible! Do it again. Blow her to pieces! What? It's coming from my right. Oh no. Hurry, dodge. As if I'd let you. Ace! Snipers, take aim. Target the raised platform to the south. Fire! What? How dare you? How dare you? Did we get him? I doubt it. The most we could hope for is to put some pressure on him. Unfortunately, we don't have the time to dissect our enemy's tactics. He's very mobile and has high fire power. The longer this drags on, the less likely we'll be able to block his shots. We can't give him time to set up. Amiya, make your move while Team E3's snipers keep him occupied. Understood. Team E1 snipers come with me into Reunion's forces. Team E2 use all the firepower you have to break through their defensive line. You filthy vermin! Why won't you just obediently evolve and die? Why can't I just put an end to you all right here? I want to kill every single one of you. Neil, now's your chance, hurry. Our members of Team E4 are going to break through their formation. We're going to clear everything out of their way in one fell swoop. Let's run wild. Fire, fire. Don't let her get any closer. Huh. What? She was 20 meters away just a moment ago. Ugh. If he wants to stand against the Kazmiers, Kazimiera's knight, Come back after you trained a few more decades. Doberman, follow me. Understood. Dilemma! I sent me known as Junk Man. It was a very high attack. You must deal with them carefully. Doctor, I suggest you deploy the defender operators. You must defeat them again to gain more space and maneuverability. Okay. So, put Beagle down right here. Oh, this. Jessica, go right there. Put you down right there. Colors. Hmm. Yeah, put you down there. 
We can still hit everyone there. Now, Hibius Kiss, I want you to go there so you can heal both of our tanks. And that should be GG from here. I'd hope. Let's pop down the creep. A summon. Angelica. Go there. Good mobility. Meet your right doll. Just summon again. And mission accomplished. Way easier. Ansel. Yep. Kinda sucks now that I'm staying on my record with the whole two stars. But that's only because I didn't have two tanks. Go menacey. Ooh. Next, you will need to understand a new resource: skirmishes. Tap to enter the operation room. In order to recoup operational expenses and equipment upkeep, maintaining Rhodes Island supply line is one of the most important daily responsibilities. In resource skirmishes, you must complete special requests to replenish different resources. Tap to enter resource skirmish stage selection. Like the main campaign, skirmishes for different resources are open at different times. Come back on, on another day if the resource you are trying to replenish is not available. Resource skirmishes provide better rewards than most standards operations, so please plan around them accordingly. So, aerial threat is Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Resource search is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Tough siege is Monday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. And cash is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. So, cash is tomorrow. Tactical drills is always open for experience to level up, but you need the cash, so you need to do a lot of that. Resource search. Defend against enemies with high defense, and we get these items. A carbon stick used for facility development of Rhodes Island, one of this industrial materials that can be used to produce a variety of polymers. Polymers. Okay. Well, either way. Operator, we got another beagle, right? So, probably should have done this before to reduce her uh, deployment. Oh, wait, she was already level 2. Now she's level 3. Wait, no, now? What? She was potential 1 before, and now, now she's potential 2. Next one would be potential 3. I didn't even pay attention to that. So yeah, Beagle is currently our best tank. And that's that. You're a guy, right? Can't really change anything here. Alright. I want more resources that we can summon, but it just doesn't seem to want to give me any right now. Which really sucks. Okay, mixed enemy troops are coming from the west. Please make good use of tactics you just learned and assemble a suitable squad to deal with them. Our first clear, we get a Neko, it would appear, with red eyes. I'm all for that. Although the last few I think were dudes, I'm not sure. <laughs> Either way, let's go. Blockade running. So they're coming from three ways. We got about to reunion commander for now. At least he is not making any further moves. Different types of enemy troops are coming. Be careful. 
Okay, so the first wave is coming from there. Beagle. I want you to go... Right here. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, good. Oh, well, thanks. Right there. Colors. Now we have to do is just defend our tanks, and we should be good. Hibiscus. You can go right here, and then you'll heal both of our tanks. Which is exactly what we need. Jessica. Go there and help to attack the enemies. And we should be set now. The enemies I don't feel like can actually do much now. Angelica. Attack right there. Amiya. Check that way. And now, meet your right all. Check right there. You can't break through this line. The ability. The ability. And we win. GG. Scouting complete. I can confirm that the enemies pursuing us have been eliminated. We managed to break through the, their encirclement. We'll be at the outskirts of Chernobog soon. Even though the enemies were defeated today, we're just a small portion of the whole force. At least we're safe for now. Thank you for what you did back there. I am forever in your debt. Don't say stuff like that. I don't have the right to ask the Radiant Knight for repayment anyway. Anyway, let's s s talk about that sniper, Neil. Sure. Putting aside the destructive power of that ballista, I think he might have set up several turrets in advance, as well as other automatically firing devices. I was targeted from different directions, but I saw only one sniper. I had the same feeling. The first and second shots exploded at about the same time, but there was a noticeable delay between them. Those shots weren't fired from the same repeating ballista. At least when we returned fire, we weren't targeting the same sniper. Hey, so did you realize something? I can't say for sure. What if the enemy was moving so quickly to the point of basically being in several places at once? There's no way anyone can move that quickly. I can't even imagine how it'd be possible. We can't underestimate how dangerous reunion is. It was that malicious brat who ordered the sniper to go after you. He didn't even call upon the sniper when he was attacking us. It's not like that disgusting personality of his is backed up by some real power. However, he never attacked us, even when he was angry. So either his combat capabilities are lacking, or he simply chose to not display his true abilities yet. To seeing his commanding abilities in action makes me highly suspicious. He was commanding his troops like puppets. In any case, we're no longer in territory that he controls. Neil, thank you. If not for your timely arrival, we would have been in great danger. I was just following the plan we agreed on before. You were the one who asked me and Ace to make adjustments depending on the situation. You solved your own problem. On my way here, I saw the extent of Reunion's atrocities and I had doubts about their power. What if I stopped to engage their forces? What if I helped Ursus defend their against Reunion? What if I stayed behind at the rendezvous point waiting for you to come to me? If I was the one who called the shots, there's no saying how much worse the outcome could have been. 
I'm not good at thinking several steps ahead. The only way I know to get what I want is to keep fighting. Amiya, I was only performing my duties, but you have the ability to end the crisis. You are in this victory, so have more confidence in yourself. Miss Neo. Heh. <laughs> this person sitting next to you must be the doctor, then. That's right, but... Every time we meet someone, Amiya has to repeat the story about how the doctor is suffering from amnesia. What a pain. Dr. Cell, one of my friends lost her memories as well. I'm sure you two will get along. After all, you should understand how precious living in the present is. Mm-hmm. Let's get going, everyone. We still have to escort the doctor to Rhodes Island. Finally. We're going to Rhodes Island. Sorry. I failed. No, I don't apologize. It was my mistake. I lost my temper. Can you help me track Rhodes Island? I'll report the situation to Talula first. She should have taken over Chernobog's core to come in tower by now. She will decide the fate of these insects. Understood. Be careful, your yeah? safety is more important thing, alright. I will. I suppose my mission is complete too. Let's go, comrades. Uh huh. Let's just go forth and welcome you our new era. Chapter Zero, Evil Time, to be continued. Oh my god, that was only Chapter Zero, jeez. But hey, I managed to push through the entirety of Chapter Zero in one episode. Give or take. Give or take the little bit of missions I did in the first episode. Melantha, you are in fact a woman. And I like you a whole lot, mainly because you're a Neko. Yeah. Welcome to our team, possibly, maybe. Okay, we still need tanks. She's a DPS melee user, though, so... I don't know if we have the room, necessarily? Doctor, victory always comes at a cost. Please proceed to the headquarters, someone is waiting for you. Doctor, we meet again. Things are not looking good. Chenobog is about to fall and there's a limit to what I can do at Rhodes Island. Right now we need to restore our infrastructure so that we can provide more support for future operations. Alright, I keep forgetting that you might not remember who I am. I'm Closure, a Rhodes Island stability engineer. Welcome to the Rhodes Island headquarters. I hope we get along, Dr. Cell. And I hope we get along as well. In the headquarters, you can build different facilities and resources and manage operators. Since the system was just restored, most facilities will require cleaning before they can be used. Even though we've lost a lot, our journey has only just begun, and we will rebuild. This has always been our home through thick and thin. Before we get started, let me introduce you to some basic functions. This number indicates the number of vital drones. Drones are used for operations such as cleaning up and building rooms. After the drone is used, it will be need to be charged and undergo maintenance for a while before it can be used again. This shows Rhodes Island's power supply. All facilities require electricity, so building and upgrading the power station can provide additional output. This is the place your currency. Lungman Dollars LMD. After all, money doesn't grow on trees, and most of the materials we produce here are for funding. Hopefully you'll be able to digest all this information, after all. This will be the place that you frequent the most. Don't worry, for this all seems a bit overwhelming at first, Doctor. Take your time to get acquainted and slowly help this place become more like the home you'd want. That's why cleaning up these rooms is the first step to starting any job. Let's switch to build mode. The elevator shaft is the passage connecting these various rooms. Tap on the area below between these shafts to clean it up. Tap here to begin the cleaning. Debris cleared. Now clean the one below. Debris cleared. All right. Now let's clean the surrounding rooms. Time to clean the empty room. Debris cleared. We're not done yet. We still have to clean this next room. Debris cleared. There's one more. Debris cleared. We've cleaned enough rooms to build facilities now. Our facilities require power, so the first thing that we need to build is a power plant. Select one of the rooms we cleaned. 
Time to construct a power plant. Infrastructure complete. Now we need to build a factory. The factory will produce materials and some resources in the beginning. You should produce pure gold and sell them for LMD. Recovered records for your operators. Later on, you can produce originium shards and exchange them for orundums. Time to next empty room. Time to construct a factory. Infrastructure complete. Now let's build a trading post. Fulfill orders through the trading post for a steady supply of LMD. Later on, you can switch orders, Titan, and Orundums. Tap the last room. Tap to build. Complete. You built all the basic facilities. Now you need to learn how to use them. Tap to return to normal mode. Most of the base facilities don't just run on their own, so you need to assign operators. The factory is responsible for producing a wide range of products and is key to Rhode Island. Select the factory. Okay. The show is current status. Tap once more to open the production page. Tap here to assign an operator. Select an operator. Tap to assign. Now, now we can actually make something. Tap to set a category. Select an item to produce. Tap to confirm. Now the item will be in, be in specific, specified quantity. However, there is a limit to how much the warehouse can store, so please remember to collect the pro produced items on a regular basis. That's it for the factory. Give it a try and make sure it's producing something while you're busy elsewhere. Next, we will talk about the training post and other key elements of the base. The training post sells products made of Rhode Island for LMD or Orundums and other currencies. Transactions are immediate as long as you can fulfill your orders. However, the training post also requires help from operators in order to run smoothly. Tap here to assign an operator. Alright. Now you've got a proper workflow going. Let's try to fulfill an order. Tap here to complete. That's it, we just completed. The first order since the base was required, uh, repaired, and all the basic features are back. More rooms and facilities will be available later after we upgrade the control center. You can now manage rooms and talk to operators who just hang out. Only the basics are available at the moment due to stability issues with the more advanced facilities. We will explore those after getting permission from Cult Seat. Okay. So, precious materials... Resources received. Resources received. Yeah, we have no more resources. Just gun. All right. So that's the factory. That's the trading post. Operator. Assign. Lava. You can go work in there. Okay. And now we got someone working inside of power. Building. Cleanable. Drone 1948. Consume the following materials to clean the room. Confirm. Dormitory built. Infrastructure complete. Brasilia provides the accommodation for Rhode Island operators as everything needed for relaxation and entertainment. Here is the dormitory at Rhode Island. The dormitory is where the operators rest and recover morale when they're not working. This shows the dormitory's ambience and how much morale is restored. The higher the ambience, the faster morale is restored. Purchase new furniture in the fashion store to increase dormitory's ambience and make it look nicer. Tap here to enter the style store. After a piece of furniture is purchased from the fashion store, it needs to be placed in the dormitory to take effect. Enter decoration mode through here to place furniture. By the way, the fashion store is not the only place to get furniture. Some furniture may be obtained at the end of some operations depending on your luck. Anyway, morale has a huge impact on base operation, so please pay attention to your operations morale and make sure they get enough rest. The same goes for you, Doctor. Mia, don't you worry about me, Doctor. I'm always a night person. That's what the night is for all nighters. 
But come to think of it, to mind people, all nighters mean not going to sleep in the morning. Mm-hmm. Fashion store. I obviously don't have any clue as to I don't have any building, whatever these are. It's fine for now. Operator sign. Everyone is fine for now. Yep. Debris cleared. And available drones plus eight. Debris um, cleared. Debris cleared. Debris cleared. Build. Workshop. Build. Infrastructure complete. Construction complete. A bunch of formula has been unlocked. Operator. Sign. Meet you at Ito. The workshop is where materials are crafted and decomposed. Thanks to technological advances, crafting and decomposing can be done automatically and instantly by machines at the same time. All the processes fully automated, operators can also be assigned to the workshop. With the station operator, the workshop will sometimes yield additional byproducts. However, the operator's morale also goes down a little with each processing action, so it's up to you to decide whether or not to station operators here. Now let's try to process the materials. Time to select a formula. Time to select base materials. Alright. Tap here to start processing. Products received. There we go. So we need these C99's carbon sticks to get the light buildings we need. Products received. Good to know. Products received. Alrighty. So we need to get those C99's. Good to know. At least now we know what exactly what to do. We can enable and disable this notice and settings. Missions. I have done nothing here daily. I'll take the expedited plan. Thank you very much. I believe that increases the stuff that you can make. Your recruitments. Go faster. This form of pure gold. So I can do more of those trade posts. I'll collect that. And that. And that. Clear main story line one of one. It will time part two. I'll take more of those. Thank you very much. Operator. Melantha, what's your skill? Attack plus 10%. That then goes up to 15. Good to know. You're slightly slow. Your range is only one. You're mainly in DPS survival. All right. I really want to go into a headhunt. 4,500. 6,000. Oh. So I can get exactly 4,500 currently with, a, in, with as many of those golden things I've got. Well, this blows. I need 26 originite. Confirm. Nope. Oh, long time to see, Dr. Sal. Did you get my letter? Yes, I did. 
Oh, excellent job. I knew you could do it. That's no easy task. I feel that after we've been working together for a while, we'll find it if we have a lot in common. Heh. <laughs> Did you know that even though I'm a reliability engineer, I'm also in charge of purchases? Alas, this place is too dark for getting to know each other. Let's go somewhere else. I've got something to show you. My own pals from the underground network gave me access to many things. Welcome to the Rhodes Island Supply Center. What you see here is the recommended page. All these splendid goods have been handpicked by yours truly. They're a great value. If you see something that you like, Dr. Sal, receive the word and it will be delivered to your door. Some things will require the funds, but some other goods can be exchanged with certain items and resources. However, you can shop assured that everything here is guaranteed to be of the highest quality. Take a look, Dr. Cell. Here, let's take a look at the certificate store. Dr. Cell, here you can use certificates earned from battles. These certificates may be exchanged for supplies. For example, let's take a look at the purchase certificate. The purchase certificate is something you can earn from skirmishes. Dr. Cell, the more operations you participate in, the more purchase certificates you will earn. You can trade them for supplies you need here. Dr. Cell, how do you like the dormitory? I feel like you'd be able to spruce the place up a bit more. I'm requested for some new goods from one of the famous French outlets in my hometown. Head over to the furniture store and take a look. Here, you can use the furniture token to originate Prime to buy furniture. For furniture usually requires assembly when it is delivered. Luckily, most operators enjoy doing this, so your furniture will be ready to use right away. Just head to the dormitory and then tap decoration mode. You can also go to themes and select quick setup to display your new furniture. Now my favorite part, the boutique. Hey, Fang's outfit. This is how you get it. You can buy the latest outfits designed by professionals here. Even though we're always at Rhodes Island, you still have to look nice. These outfits do not interfere with battle, so you can rest easy and buy whatever you want for your operators, Dr. Cell. Because these outfits come and go depending on season, you have signed you up for our push notification, Dr. Cell. You will be notified when new lions are debuted. So this looks like that it will be perfect for Fang, and you can have it for free as the store's opening gift to you. She will love it. And I will love it as well. Hey, looking good, Fang. Nice. Bye. Yes. Campaign went. 1096 went to new arrivals. Crucy of the Ata. With handmade details, it applies waterproof fabric and contains zipper sleeves, zipper pockets, and a detachable hood. Looking good. Fang, looking good. Quit. And there we go. Pretty nice. So packs, we get a starter pack. Freshman. Starter head hunting pack. Monthly card. Prime access, not active. What exactly does this do? Sign in every day for 200 rundum. Sign in every day for emergency sanity person times one. So five dollars a month for every day you get 200 rundum. I mean, seriously, five dollars monthly, and you get two hundred rundum. That comes out to fourteen hundred in one week, which eh, that might actually be a good deal. Kind of. I don't. I don't know. There's a lot of crap here, though, man. A lot of crap. So we get upgrade to Gummy's contract, head hunting permit times one, 10,000 LMD and 20 drill battle records for 99 cents. I think Gummy's a tank. Mainly because it shows it right there. Huh. Here we go. Welcome home, Gummy. 
For a dollar. Hey, it's a dollar, all right? Why wouldn't I spend a dollar to get another tank? <laughs> and a hen hunting permit. Thank you very much. Now that's about all I'm gonna spend in this game. Gummy! Welcome home! Now we got a four star tank. Which means we can replace Noir Torn Boy. Can heal allies using the skill. Hmm. Or is she a healer? Eh, either way. Actually, no. D yeah, she's defense healing. There we go. Restore the HP of a nearby ally by 95% of Gummy's attack in the next attack. That's actually kind of neat. Okay. Level Gummy up to level 10. And there we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. I also changed Fang to be our secretary. Mission. Campaign mission. Upgrade one defender operator to level 10. I will take the skill summary. Thank you very much. How long do we have for the recruitment? An hour 57 minutes. Hour 58. I don't think I'm going to be up in time. So if anything, I'll be going to bed. Getting up. Oh no, because then that's a waste of nine hours. So yeah. <laughs> oh god. Upgrade HR office to level two to unlock my third in level three. Training post. What do you want? Trade you and you. Thank you very much. And that's all the notifications I've got. Good to know. Yes, leave the base. Tapping on myself does nothing. Limited time mission ongoing. Consume a total of 100 sanity. Get those. We get an operative at 500 sanity consumed. And heavy operatives gain a total of 75,000 experience, and we get two of these rare medic tokens. Complete all mission to, to obtain rewards. The Paper Girl Army only. So we get Army Paper Girl skin, I believe. 11 days and 7 hours remaining to do all of this. Claim. Thank you. Headhunting. I will claim this, sugar, spice, everything nice. Certificate this kind of business operation capacities of Rhode Island can be exchanged for items. So yeah. Head to Hunter. Confirm. Got an epic. Four, three star, four star. Four star unit. Force You heard her guys. She will do pretty much anything that you tell her to do. Well, well, well. First leaf, welcome home. <laughs> Okay. I can get a five star guaranteed in the next six pulls. Man, I need more. I need the summon. But I ain't got the tools for it. All events guarantee us at least one six star operative and one five star higher. 
Technically, I have enough to headhunt here. But I don't want to headhunt here. I want to headhunt here. With all the nice looking characters. Not that, uh... Oh, Shiguma's not nice. Extra CI is not nice. Angelina, I got her. She's really nice. Shining, I would have liked to have gotten her. Same at Sieg. Silver Ash, eh, I mean, he's good, but... No, I don't really want him. All right. Now, Future Cell here. I was going to show you guys the recruitment but i ended up doing a lot of gotcha stuff so next episode is going to be purely gotcha so thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next one where we will be doing gotcha for i don't know how long the recording went up to an hour so maybe 30 minutes at most maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less i have no clue still have yet to edit it so yeah till then see you guys later